Honored guests, friends, and family, on this day after Thanksgiving, we are thankful that we have been invited here today to witness and celebrate the uniting in marriage of Caitlin and Charlie. They are taking the first step of their new beginning, their new life together. The ability for us to love another is perhaps the most precious and fulfilling gift that has been entrusted to us. It is an all-consuming task, a lifelong endeavor the journey we've been preparing for all of our lives. Loving someone is a reason to stretch beyond our limits, to become more for the sake of the other. It is to look into the soul of your beloved and accept what you see. Loving is the ultimate commitment which challenges us to become all that we are meant to be. As they join in marriage today, Caitlin and Charlie are announcing to the world that they are welcoming that challenge. Please be seated. <clears throat> I would like to say just a few words about Caitlin and Charlie before we begin. Some of us here today uh, have known Caitlin her entire life. She is my firstborn niece and I have been amazed to witness her become the beautiful, caring, and responsible person she is today. She has been an inspiration to me since before she can probably even remember. Uh, when, I, when she was about two and a half years old, I was hospitalized for over 30 days after a pretty bad car accident. And my sister Beth gave me a picture of Caitlin playing in the fall leaves behind their house with the biggest smile on her face. And I kept that picture at my bedside and drew strength every day through my therapy to keep moving through a very difficult time in my life. Anyone that knows her knows Caitlin has a deep devotion to her friends and family. She's pursued her vocation as an educator, and we could not be more proud of her. Recently, as you know, she became an administrator with the Bed Bedford City School District. And Charlie, <laughs> although I have not known him his entire life, there are times that I feel like I have. And uh, when I first met Charlie, he immediately called me Uncle Matt. And that's the only way he's addressed me ever since. He felt like family from the start. He is one of the hardest workers I know. And Charlie has a passion for the culinary arts like no other. He has blessed us with many Epicurean creations during family events. He is also a huge fan of international football and maybe missing out on the World Cup as we speak. <laughs> but he has also taken to American football. But just don't ask him what he thinks of Baker Mayfield. Uh, let's say it's probably a blessing that Baker no longer plays for the Browns. Something you may not know is that the story of Caitlin and Charlie might not have brought us to this day uh, if it weren't for some persistence and patience early in their relationship. As many of you know, Caitlin was a foster parent, and she was still actively fostering right around the time she and Charlie started dating. There were a couple of times where Caitlin had to cancel on Charlie, but he was not deterred, and we are celebrating today because they persevered. So, recently I asked Charlie what initially attracted him to Caitlin, and he told me 
her beautiful smile, and her hair. <laughs> I said her hair. He said, <laughs> yes, he said, Uncle Matt. He explained, when he first saw her, he thought it was bold, elegant, and artistic. He believed it was a sign of self-confidence and strength. He also told me that the women in his family are strong, and he could not imagine having a woman in his life that is not. As for Caitlin, I asked her the same question. <laughs> she told me that Charlie is extremely understanding and patient. She's never met anyone like him. They can disagree, but still stay close together. <laughs> Although he sometimes tests her limits when he uses the hallway hooks as his closet, and scatters his socks on the living room floor. I think we've all been there. Um, anyways, Charlie may get upset with Caitlin when she tries to clean up the kitchen while he's still cooking and questions her choice of kitchen utensils, but their love for each other is strong, and we are celebrating that love today. What is love but to be celebrated? Love gives nothing but itself and takes nothing but from itself. Love possesses not, nor would it be possessed. For love is suffici sufficient unto love. And as you begin your married life together, my wish is that you will enrich each other, but also maintain and develop your lives as individuals. Let there be spaces between your to togetherness. Let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but let each one of you be alone. Even as the strings of a mandolin are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your heart, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. And one more thing. In the immortal words of John Lennon, there's nowhere you can be that isn't where you're meant to be. It's easy. All you need is love. Okay, if everyone can please stand. <coughs> Charlie and Caitlin are now going to share their devotion to each other in their own words. Charlie. Sorry. I will never forget the day we met and that walk we took in that cold freezing in the in that freezing cold. Today is another beautiful day to start the next chapter of our lives. You provide me with joy and happiness. And nothing brings me more happiness than to call you my wife. I promise to be your navigate navigator in all the adventures we take, while you sit in a captain's chair in our starship. <laughs> <sighs> there are so much to discover, and so much to share. I love you, I love you the way you love your family, I love the way you take care of me and the kittens. Thank you for loving me and accepting me with all my flaws. I promise to love you and care for you and honor you till I die. <laughs> Lastly, let our marriage be long and prosper. Love you. <laughs> Charlie, I can't believe this day is finally here. It feels like it's taken forever to get here, but at the same time, it also feels like we just met yesterday. I'm so grateful that from this day forward, I get to call you my husband. 
You are my rock. You comfort me when I'm down. You give me space when you know I'm frustrated. And you know all the perfect ways to make me feel loved. I couldn't put it better than the quote on the front of this card. At one glance, I love you with a thousand hearts. I love you more than you will ever know. And I can't wait to start this new chapter together. <laughs> okay, and now for the rings. Charlie, take this ring for Caitlin. Place it on her finger. And repeat after me, Charlie. I, Charlie, take you, Caitlin. I, Charlie, take you, Caitlin. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. My constant friend, my faithful partner. My constant friend, my faithful partner. And my love from this day forward. And my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friends. In the presence of God, our family and friends. I offer my solemn vow to be your faithful partner. I can I? <laughs> I offer my solemn vow. I offer my solemn vow. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. And joy and sorrow. And in life as well as in death. And life as well as in death. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you and cry with you. To laugh with you and cry with you. And to cherish you, and to cherish you in this life and in the next. In this life and in the next. And we have the ring. Please place the ring on Charlie's finger. Caitlin, repeat after me. I, Caitlin, take you, Charlie. I, Caitlin, take you, Charlie. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. My constant friend, my faithful partner. My constant friend, my faithful partner. And my love from this day forward. And my love from in the presence of God, our family and friends. In the presence of God, our family and friends. I offer my solemn vow to be your faithful partner. I offer my solemn vow to be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. And in life as well as in death. And in life as well as in death. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you and cry with you. To laugh with you and cry with you. And to cherish you in this life and in the next. And to cherish you in this life and in the next. Okay. Te brique derem. Mudlodonius diem olsen. Alicine hos gaudenis. Zeni sevioros. In English, congratulations. May your happiness last forever. Welcome to the family and we love you. By the power vested in me by the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you may kiss the bride.